Does the legislative yuan need a new home? That's the question at hand for legislative speaker Yoshi Xikun as he attempts to resolve numerous issues with the building currently housing the legislature. After 60 years in a former girls' school in Taipei, many think a change of scene is needed. Some lawmakers are even arguing for the institution to move out of the capital. But so far, there's no consensus on the ideal location. A cafe in the legislative yuan. A surveyor points to the corrugated iron roof of the building. Speaker Yeo then reveals that decades ago, the roof was erected illegally. That's not a problem you expect for a legislature. The building in Taipei's Zhongzhen district was Taipei's second girls' high school in the Japanese colonial era. In 1960, the legislature moved in. Sixty years later, the building is showing its age. The internal organization of the building isn't ideal, and that semi-legal roof has seen better days. There are health and safety issues, and many think it's unbefitting Taiwan's government. A new committee has been set up to consider changes, and on Thursday, Speaker Yeo held its first meeting with experts. Committee members from every party have offered various sites for new establishments or suggestions for renovations at the present location. Many voices are also arguing for moving to a new site. Among the new sites suggested are Hua Shan 1914 Creative Park, Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, the former Air Force Command Headquarters in Da'an District, Chenggongling Military Base in Taichung, and the Zhanghua High Speed Rail Station. Many locations have been suggested. My goal is to work together with all the committee members to secure a definite location before the end of my term in office. That would make me very happy. The committee will consult numerous architects and urban planners, including Ling Zhou Ming, former head of the Taipei Department of Urban Development. Legislators are casting their net far and wide in the search for solutions.